Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm skipping Gon Gon because I expect that this is going to be the last part. So I'm going to use my favorite character for the finale here and get this started with Trombone. Apparently I've played this two times before. I'm supposed to play as instructed. How do I play as instructed? Uh, seriously? It's played? Oh my. You play by moving the Wii Remote closer and, I mean, up further and closer to the TV. Then you play with the A button. Oh, this is not going to go well. As I've explained before, these 3D movement things do not go all that well. And there's three levels. No, have mercy. Or do I have any like visual indication? Oh, I, oh okay, I do. I do. So how am I supposed to play? I see it's oh I'm supposed to actually stop playing or stop pressing the button when I get I mean when it gets to the next node and I'm supposed to rapidly move over to it oh wrong color <laughs> I, I'm you kind of have to like have your eyes at two place places at once. Wait, no, I, what are you talking about? That is preposterous. And she didn't move at all there. <laughs> Why didn't she move at all? Oh, so... I guess it isn't, like, focused on how well you do. It, well, it is focused on how well you do for the score. Like, I was worried that I would have to um, try to past the song essentially like some rhythm game like dance dance revolution or guitar hero where if you miss too many notes you fail that's that sort of thing is what i was worried about i think i could get the hang of this if i if i played enough well i'm gonna be playing all these songs so maybe i'll be able to get it by level three all right exercise that arm get it in the center to prepare Starts. Oh. oh, it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I knew the tone sounded very familiar. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Must not fail at Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Of all the songs to fail at, it, I sh it shouldn't be this one. <laughs> this is like the song that people learn when they're, you know, learning an instrument or something like that. <laughs> and you'll notice that there's little red lines up there. I think that's where I'm supposed to be, like, pressing the button as a note goes by it. But it's pretty hard to shift quickly between notes, in case you couldn't tell that. Voila! I did much better that time, though. And do a quick dance. The game is set, and one more level to go. Oh yeah, we're rocking out, baby. <laughs> and I got first place! That means I probably did decently well. <laughs> next stage... well, next level of sorts. Trombone? And I still don't know why I have to center that each and every time. <laughs> Just don't get it! Hard level butterfly. Am I gonna know this song? I don't know. Because stars turn out to be twinkle twinkle little star. And I didn't know the first song at all, probably because I played it so badly. What is this? Well, this is going a lot faster. Holy crap! <laughs> this is terrible! Why isn't it moving to the red at that time? Oh, poopers. Uh, 
This one's a lot harder, that's for sure. But it's over and I have no idea what that song was. Probably because I was playing all the wrong notes and couldn't get an idea of what the heck that was supposed to be. <laughs> and that's it for trombone. Boop, boop. Next game is... UFO Capture, of which I've never played. So after I play this, I will unlock Baby Robo! Woohoo! Maybe I should use him for the last couple... No, I think that's only in the story mode, if, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're gonna see, because I've never unlocked them before, because I never played these before. I should say never played all these before until now. Ah, the motivation of making a walkthrough. It makes me do things I never was motivated to do before. <laughs> um... Well, um... I guess I'm gonna see. I don't quite understand how the game's gonna work by these controls alone, but... Um... So I just capture these little egg guys. That's... that's it, really? Well, okay. <laughs> and I, I guess I can get closer to them. Wow! That that was it, really? Oh, okay, you get another round. Bring it on, baby! We're gonna get these Egberts, or whatever the heck these things, Eggheads. Uh, I, I, I mean, they are some sort of type of alien, but do they have a name? I don't know. I'm kind of curious to know if they do have a name, but at the same time, not curious enough to look it up. <laughs> I'll just call them alien eggs, alien babies. And wow, that blue one's really fast. <laughs> I'm just trying to find commentary here that is non-existent to keep a conversation going with you, even though there's no one really with me. <laughs> I like to keep the viewer enthralled. <laughs> Give me. I must make omelette. Must feed myself with rare alien species because I'm sadistic like that to the world well the universe of species must make aliens extinct eh, eh. oh I see they bounce in straight angles off the wall so I can just like move in their way like the faster ones to collect them rather than just chasing them around I can't believe I'm doing well this is amazing <laughs> what 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 was it because I grabbed too many at once uh, oh, those they attack you, those pinkish ones, pinkish purple ones. I see things are getting trickier now. This is actually pretty fun. <laughs> oh, I got hit now. So when you get hit, they just seem to like stall you. Doesn't really seem to like, I mean, you don't seem to have any like life meter or something like that. You don't seem to be taking or have any, any noticeable lasting damage other than the fact that you, you know, are stalled for a little while. Eh, eh, eh. Blue one, get, no, must not lose. Yay, I'm doing well. <laughs> go, go, fu wait, final round, really? I thought there would be as many rounds as there needs to be. Ow, definitely kill off the pinkish purple ones first. Why I say they're pinkish purple is because they're like purple with pink spots. So they're like two tone in their, their color. And so I shouldn't say pinkish purple because a pinkish purple would be more like some sort of magenta or violet or something like somewhere around in that tone range dealio thing. <laughs> Get those evil little pink ones. No, they're hitting me so much and I lost control of my Wii remote somehow. But I am somehow living, I am somehow surviving. I, it would be pretty fun if I could actually manage to get them all before the time limit ends. Because that, that would actually mean that I completed another game on here. Does this mean that I did a total of, like, 51 walkthroughs in one game? You have the Super Monkey Ball main game, and then you have the 50 party games? <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> because a lot of these could be, like, games in on themselves. Even though that they're, you know, really short most of the time. Woo! I was successful beyond successful! <laughs> and that, as you notice, that was the first time I ever played the game. Any indication that I, that I unlocked Baby Robo? No? Well, okay, I'm gonna go to Whack-A-Mole then. <laughs> Wait, actually, I'm gonna go back to the character select screen and see if I can actually select Baby Robo now. 
Um, if I press one on him, no, I can't. Okay, um, I'll show you Baby Robo after I complete the games, I suppose. Like just a couple rounds in the main game. All right, whack 'em all. Second to last game. Here we go. Wait, wait. I'm actually supposed to swing the hammer in midair while trying to keep myself in the 3D area. This is not going to work well at all. <laughs> well, I shouldn't uh, drown your hopes too much here because it might work. It works. It works. It actually works. No, wait. I want to go down there. Oh, maybe it doesn't work all that much. I'm supposed to just flop, flop the Wii Remote downwards. Yeah, I'm supposed to move the Wii Remote on a flat plane in midair, but when I want to swing it, I move the Wii Remote down from that plane. Okay, I see, and it seems to like lock onto the little molehills here too, so that's, that's helpful. Yes, it does actually work! Well, if you don't lose control of it. This is something that I would definitely need practice on, but... Yes, I'm pleased! It works! Even though this game is pretty basic, so it's not all that special. I assume the blue ones give you more points. Eh, no, eh. So... Eh, no, no, gimme! I, I wasn't really paying attention to the point values. Yeah, the blue ones give you a lot more points. Eh. Hit blue, blue, blue! But at least their point value seem to be random. <laughs> but the blue ones seem to give you more points overall than the uh, normal ones, so... Eh, eh, I'm hitting the air, and it's making a sound. Does that mean I'm making sonic booms with my hammer? I don't know. And that's it for Whack-A-Mole. Last game. Finally. You're probably thinking that too. <laughs> Yacht sailing! This sounds exciting! <laughs> Tilt to wave the yacht, to keep the wind direction, and to wave the yacht. I, I might actually, as I said, I might actually go back one of these days to play some of the games that I thought were broken, like give them a second chance. Something like that. Alright, so how do you turn the sail? Uh. Am I controlling the arrow, or am I controlling... Eh, eh, eh. Am I supposed to be doing this? Am I supposed to be doing this? I don't know. Oh, you, you control a sail by tilting. Why didn't that work before? <laughs> eh, eh. Go, Yan Yan, go! Avoid the sharks, though. Those they, they seem like they're going to kill you if they catch you. Yeah! Okay, so, how do you... So you I don't, see, I'm, not, I'm trying to control the sail. I'm tilting, but it's not moving the sail. There we go. Am I, like, am I supposed to actually aim for the sail with the wind to get more loft? I ended up in a whirlpool, which is going to sink me. Or oh, <laughs> the, the rock did a better job of sinking me than the, than the whirlpool did, which doesn't make any sense. Well, actually, it, it can. You know, rocks can sink a boat, but I would think that you know a whirlpool would pull you straight down as opposed to a rock, which you could just graze off of. I, I'm not, yeah, I really have no idea how this control in the slightest. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Am I supposed to be like fanning the bolt up and down to move it? I'm gonna try that one more time, even though this was the last game. Just for the fun of it, just to make sure that, you know, I don't write off this game too quickly like I did the other ones that I said that I might go back to go back to later. Oops, oh, no, tilty, tilty, there we go. And... Yeah, you do wave the yacht by moving up and down, but... Hmm. So... Okay, well, whatever. So A is to hold the wind direction where I want it to. Alright, wait, 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 okay, maybe this does work. I must tilt that way, no, tilt why am I, why is my arrow stuck at that place now? Eh, no, don't center yourself. I would like to go and turn left, please. Eh, I guess that's the point of the A button to hold it into place. Yeah, something tells me I just don't understand the controls, which is the issue that I'm having right now. And it's not, it's not so much the game as it is me, because I can tell 
that it does seem to be responsive to a point. And you definitely should be avoiding the sharks. I don't know if that was like a shortcut that I aimed for that time. Wow! That just- that shark just blindsided me! Jeez, man! Put on your turn signal! Ugh. I can't bump into rocks too much, I guess. Eh. Go, 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 better because I understood it more, but hey, yeah, I, I think this game does work, it's just I'm doing it wrong or something like that, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And now, for the last thing in this part, I will use Baby Robo, at least I think he should be unlocked, in the story mode at least, or main game, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now if I press... There we go, you press 1 over Baby and he'll turn into a Baby Robo! I have no idea how he controls like at all. I'm going to go to my favorite one and start from the beginning. I don't know how many stages I'm going to be doing here, but I just want to, you know, give it a shot, see how things are like. Like, like. like maybe Baby Robo controls differently than any other character, or maybe he controls differently than Baby himself. We're going to see! Uh, Baby Robo looks as small as Baby, and he seems to feel like Baby. <laughs> I guess Baby Robo is like a, a reskin of sorts then, and that's it. Maybe? Go, 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 go! Woo! That's pretty cute, though. <laughs> Alright, let's do a couple more stages here, I guess. Just to make sure that he feels like Baby. I mean, it just might be, you know, me that thinks he feels like Baby, but he might just feel like a new character altogether and it just might be very a very subtle difference like he doesn't seem all that much more exceptional than any other character even though it takes a while to unlock him having to play the party games which most are well let's face it pretty atrocious <laughs> come on you gotta admit the party games are pretty bad or well most of them are not not all of them but most of them are all uh, right hop up there and get ready to jump! Woo! Remember, I played this world before with the, the, the Doctor, so a lot of the trouble that I had on this world before was because I was using him and his very weak jump. But I still played World 6 pretty well, despite that. What if I hit a bumper with him? Does he do anything to bumpers? No, he doesn't. Okay. I just wanted to make sure if he like a special ability to destroy bumpers like Gon Gon did. I just thought I would mess around with that because I have to wait for that ring to come back around anyway. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Any day now, please. <laughs> Still love the music in this world. Freaking sweet. All right. We're in the ring. We're going to have it out. Uh, those bananas are not worth it in the slightest because you have to wait for the timer. I mean, you have to wait for it to come back then, unless you're really, really swift. And I don't think you would have enough time to do that, to be honest. That was terrible. <laughs> Well, yeah, he, he controls just as well as Baby does, and I recommend that you use him! But anyway, I think that's all I'm going to be doing here in this walkthrough, aside from any potential extras of revisiting party games in the future, as I said before. But I... I don't really feel like doing that now. Let's do something different. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough as it is at the moment, and I will see you in the next walkthrough!